Good evening. It's a Monday. And look, let's not stress about Monday. Monday's out of the way now. We can forget about it. It's time now just to kick back and relax, really, because what could be better on a Monday, which is not a great day, what could be better than an episode of Hancock's Half Hour? So we'll do that in a moment. First of all, let's get the housekeeping done. Welcome to another episode of Brett's All Time Radio Show. Welcome to my home here in beautiful Lime Bay. Thank you for joining me once again for our regular late night visit to those dusty studio archives of old time radio shows right here at my home on the south coast of the United Kingdom. I'm Brett, I'm your host for our nighttime podcast. Welcome to another episode. Please do check out our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channel. They're all called Brett's Old Time Radio Show and I would just be absolutely made up if you'd follow me there. Time now for our regular Monday night episode of Hancock's Half Hour. This is episode two of series four, and it's called The Bolshoi Ballet. We present Tony Hancock, Sidney James, Bill Kerr, and Kenneth Williams in... Hancock's Half Hour. see Margot Fontaine, not the scenery over. <laughs> I haven't quite got the hang of this, you know. Two turns and I have one. <laughs> Top, ring the curtain down, I'm coming in. Now listen, you Lenovo, you've been making enough noise in here to... You. I see no cause for hilarity. You should be over here. <laughs> what the heck are you wearing? This? I think it's obvious. It's me ballet set. <laughs> ballet? I've never seen a ballet dancer wearing long flannel comms and a pair of carpet slippers tied up with pink ribbon. <laughs> well, you have now, haven't you? <laughs> Come on now, let me get the plate straight here. Now, that's right. <laughs> Now, come on, give us a, just a few twirls around the room. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Sir. What's the matter with you, anyway? You see a newsreel of the Bolshoi Ballet arriving and you go mad. Buy a long player of the Swan Lake and prance around the living room all day long. Prance? Prance? <laughs> I don't prance. I gyrate. <laughs> I'm quite a fair dancer, I may add. You should see me do the pas de deux from Act One. The old feet flapping up and down there like sparrows' wings. <laughs> I think it's very me, you know, this ballet. <laughs> it's delicate and delicate and graceful, because I can move like a cat, you know. <laughs> when he hears about me, I shouldn't be at all surprised to see Helpman turn it in and go acting full time. <laughs> Can't you see it now? Maura Shearer and Anton Hancockova in Swan Lake. <laughs> Are you kidding? They wouldn't put you in Swan Lake. You might fall in and flap the orchestra pit. Well, I admit I may have to shed a pound or two here and there. It does notice in the arabesque, I agree. I, I can't get my leg up very high because my stomach gets in the way. <laughs> well, if you ask me, I think ballet's stupid. Oh, well, of course, that's finished it, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, you've spoken, haven't you? <laughs> They're all closed down now. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and I just think ballet's stupid. Well, of course you do. We all know you. Rock and roll. 
straight out of the jungle? <laughs> Look at the shape of your head. <laughs> what you don't realize, William, is that ballet is a high art form. It appeals to the intellect, of which I may add, I have more than my fair share. <laughs> Do you good to get interested in something like this? Well, there are some things I like about it. I mean, when the chorus dances on, it's quite a leg show, isn't it? Quite a leg show? I don't even notice their legs. <laughs> when they're up on that stage, I don't see a woman, I see a swan. That accounts for some of the girls I've seen you with. <laughs> <laughs> that has got nothing to do with it. I know what my lady friends look like. I'm under no illusions. Just that I can't be choosy a man of my build. <laughs> I fancy Anita Eckberg the same as everybody else, but I'm realistic about it. <laughs> if one can't have the butterfly, one is forced to have a bash at the moth. <laughs> and some of the moths are really eaten. I know, that's why I love the ballet, can't you understand? Here I can escape from the ugly realities of my social life. The muse takes over. The beauty and grace of the dance infiltrates into your very soul. It's a wonderful sight, William. Watch, I'll show you. For your benefit. I shall now proceed to dance for you, Act One of Swan Lake. Isn't that supposed to be a woman's part? Well, yes, if you're a purist, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to use your imagination. Imagine me as Madame Gilana Yulanova. Now, wait a minute, hold on, she's 46. <laughs> I think I'll be more assured. <laughs> Music. I'd like to point out that to the discrepancy of our living room to the Covent Garden stage, I've had to rewrite the choreography. If you don't mind. Just lay back and be intoxicated by the sheer beauty of your movements. Stand back. Here we go. Left hand down. <laughs> Note the grace with which I exercise the arabesque. Delicacy of movement is the secret of this love. The symbolic movement of the arms and legs in time of the music. The subtlety of the slight twin from down in the body and hand. Note the position of the head as I answer shark. <laughs> Poetry in motion as I do me part of bure across the room. <laughs> and the deft twist of the torso as I number out the coal bucket. <laughs> what went wrong? I don't know, I think my steel toe cap buckled there. <laughs> it's metal fatigue, you know. I must admit, I haven't altogether mastered this yet. One or two details I've got to get right, but then I've only been doing it for a couple of days. I'll have to pick up a few pointers. That's why we are going to see the Bolshoi lot. We? We, yes. Me to improve my dancing, and you to get the cobwebs out of your head and wake up to the higher things in life, me old cobber. <laughs> yes. We'll go down to the ticket agency and book up. There we are, sir. Two front stalls for Kismet, B22 and 23, Thursday evening. Hope you enjoy it. Good day, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Express ticket agency at your service. We find them, you sit in them. Now <laughs> 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 well, then, what can I do for you? I want two tickets for the Bolshoi Ballet. Ah, oh, certainly, sir. Where are we now? Now, where would you like to sit? Big selection, stalls, boxes, royal circle, gallery. Ah, uh, a box. Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Try the royal circle. What right, Tom? The royal circle. <laughs> Full up. <laughs> but look, I must get in. Please, two tickets. That's all I want. Well, I look, I see what I can do. And you wait a minute. There's a queue behind you. Just let me get rid of them. Uh, next. Uh, two tickets for the Bolshoi Ballet, please. Uh, certainly, sir. Oh, yes, yes, there we are. Yes, Film yes, six, yes, please. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, what was it you wanted? Two tickets for the Bolshoi. Oh, what a pity. What? I just sold the last two, not a minute ago. <laughs> what a pity you didn't get here earlier. I've been here for ten minutes. Uh, Fred, we've got a troublemaker here. I'm not a troublemaker. I'm a ballet lover. Oh, I see the Bolshoi, that's all. Oh, I've got a queue up outside the theatre for unreserved seats. All the same, these people, they come in here, they don't know what they want to see. <laughs> Have you got two unreserved seats for tonight's performance, please? I must see... Oh, I'm it. sorry, I... so I'm sorry. That's to get on the end of the queue. Oh, come on, William. On the queue. Oh, no. Look at the size of this queue. What chance do we stand? We'll never get in. Oh, stop moaning. I'm going to get in to see this ballet if we have to line up all night. Now get on the queue. Uh, quick, Tom. Look, look, it's moving. It's moving. Come on. Well, well, 
Here we are. Richmond Bridge. <laughs> Didn't you see it was a bus queue? Well, it's... Well, it's no use going back. Let's, let's go in and see the naked hills at the bioscope. It's not what you think, and we're not going. <laughs> we are going back to Covent Garden. I'm going to see that ballet if it's the last thing I do. What the time? Seven o'clock. Well, we might get in after all. Half an hour before curtain time. How far are we from the front of the queue? Hold on, I'll go and have a look. Uh, ah, there you are. It's half past seven. Where have you been? Looking for the front of the queue. Look at... Well, how long is it? I don't know. I gave up halfway. I gave up when I reached the law courts. Look, let's go home. We'll never get in tonight. We're stopping here. You never know your luck. See, look, we're moving. Come on, Dad, move on, move on. There, see? Two yards nearer. That's a style. Soon be it. Hello, we're moving again. Marvelous, there we are. Yeah, back where we started. <laughs> it's that fat woman down there. Leaving the queue and coming back again. Why don't you keep still, madam? Why don't you go home and let three of us get in? <laughs> oh, yes, charming. Charming lady. See, we've got the aristocracy in here. I don't know what the ballet is coming to. Don't you agree, sir? Mm -hmm. I was saying, shocking class of person coming to the ballet these days. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Vulgar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have a welk. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, Tub, are we going to wait here all night? Don't panic, don't panic, William. We'll get in. Doesn't start for 15 minutes. Tickets? Get your black market tickets. Get <laughs> away prices. 30 and 6 stones, only 10 guineas. Only a few left. Come along now. Hello, Anchor. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I'm not buying any. You won't get in if you don't. I'm the only bloke in London who's got tickets. Look here. A whole bundle of them, eh? Ten guineas each. I wouldn't encourage you. Go on, be off with you before I lay about you, fellow. <laughs> here. Come here. Do you know how far you are away from the pay box? Not far. <laughs> Two and a half miles. <laughs> That's all right. They allow 12 standing at the back. <laughs> you won't get in before January. <laughs> we shall see about that. Well, unless, of course, you buy a ticket. Then you could go in straight away. No. The curtain goes up in a minute. No. Nope. <laughs> Look, son, I'm only trying to help you. You want to get in, I've got the tickets. At ten guineas a time. Now, don't think I'm making any fortunes out of this, because I'm not. I had to buy the tickets. How much? Fifteen bob each. <laughs> I'm only doing it because I'm a ballet lover. You're making nine pounds fifteen profit per ticket. How could you say you're a ballet lover? If you were making nine pounds fifteen per ticket, you'd also be a ballet lover. <laughs> What a, what a cad you are. What a, what a regular bounder, really. <laughs> Making money out of a cultural visit. What will the Russians think of us? I have a good mind to tell the Soviet ambassador that you're selling tickets at ten guineas a time. Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's worried you, isn't it? You're not kidding. I've been selling it to him for twelve. <laughs> well, then what do you say? No, you're right, Tub. Twenty guineas is a lot of money. It's not worth it. Well, of course it's not worth it. 20 guineas, that's, um, uh, that's eight weeks' unemployment money. I know, I know. Well, think of all the Elvis Presley records we could buy with it. I'll take two, Sid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. Here we are, 20 guineas. And I hope you enjoy it. I will, don't you worry. Yeah. At last, I'm going to see the Bolshoi. Well, cheer up, everybody, we're going in. Ha-ha, <laughs> look, ha-ha, <laughs> we've got tickets. Online. Ah, Doc, don't give up. Everything comes to me who waits. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> I'll tell you what it's like when I come out. Oh, kidding me. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, Tub. Let's, let's get to the pay box. It's nearly starting time. <laughs> Ticket holders this way. Stalls on the right. Tickets, please. I've got them, my good man. I've got them. I'd go on if I was you lot. It's no use queuing. <laughs> Stick your elbow up against the wall. You might hear the music. <laughs> Lead on, my good fella. When does the performance start? Let's see, uh, kick off three o'clock. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Give us the tickets. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Look, it's got it printed down there. Down there in the letters. Look. Cobble. Cobble. Move your thumb. <laughs> Cobble. Tri-City versus Crystal Palace. <laughs> Kick off three o'clock. Down! What a twister that man is. Look. What? Even the football match was last Saturday. <laughs> Come on, back to the queue. We were along here somewhere. Oh, yeah, you were out early, mate. What's the matter? Didn't she lie? Ah. <laughs> Short program, 20 guineas, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your sort, I know your type. Uh, uh, take no notice, will you? Take no notice. Hold your head up and walk past like an Englishman. Ah, here we are. <laughs> this is our place. Excuse me. Uh, uh, what, uh, may I ask, do you think you're doing? This is my place. You remember me? I was standing here. Have a whelk, you remember? Oh, yes, I remember. Well, if you don't mind, I'll just move in again. Well, I do mind, so move out. I beg your jolly pardon, this is my place. What's your place? You left the queue, now get behind me. Oh, all right, one place doesn't make any difference. Come along, William, in here. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, yes? What do you think you're doing barging in the queue? Oh, I'm not barging in. No, 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 no. The man in front told me to get behind you. Well, you're not getting in front of me, so be nice little men and get behind me. <laughs> now, listen, my good man. Yes? <clears throat> Would you mind letting go of my collar and putting me back on the ground? <laughs> It'll be a privilege to stand behind you. Come on, William, in here, behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> I'm standing in front of you, aren't I? You are. It has definite advantages, you know. We're keeping the cold wind off your lower portions. <laughs> that's, that's most considerate. Thank you. Bob it. Get behind me. <laughs> Come on, William, in here. All right. All right, just go. <laughs> Ow! Oh! You didn't have to do that. I wasn't going to stand in front of you. Go on, get out. Get behind. Go on. I didn't even know it was the queue for the ballet. <coughs> Halfway down Oxford Street. Well, <laughs> look, there's not much point in arguing, Tub. He's the last one. Get behind him. Isn't it marvellous? Twice as far away as when we started. Let's go home. It's half past nine. The ballet's half over by now. We're staying here. With a bit of luck, we'll be right in front of the queue for tomorrow night. <laughs> you mean we're, we're going to sleep on the pavement all night? It'll be no novelty to you. <laughs> Except that you'll be sober. <laughs> I'm going to see the ballet if we have to queue up for a week. a bit Norton and Gold here. <laughs> oh, I'm perished here. Bill! <laughs> you wait! Bill, Bill! No, 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 what? It's cold, isn't it? Uh, well, um, Here's an all-night pub down by Covent Garden. Nip down and get that water bottle filled up. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's bitter. Bitter cold. Look at the pavement. Frozen bodies as far as the eye can see. <laughs> cold, hungry, know where to put their heads. Some smart lad can make a fortune tonight. Hot coffee, steak pies. <laughs> Hot water bottles, get your blankets, pillows. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's five pound ten. Hot pie, seventeen and six. <laughs> Hello, Hancock. What are you doing out here? I'm waiting for the football match to start. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Don't tell me I sold you the wrong ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy me doing a thing like that. I know. I was amazed. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, that's the trouble when you're working two queues, isn't it? Yes. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know what to say. No. 
Well, how about, uh, here's your money back and five quid for your trouble? No, no, that wouldn't sound right coming from me, would it? <laughs> well, I want my money back. Well, of course you do, and I'm going to give it to you. Oh? This is a new Sid. I don't quite know how to deal with it. <laughs> Let's start again. You are going to give me 20 guineas back. Certainly. Without any strings or conditions or provisos? Of course. Hard, hard cash in me hand. Yes. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Either he's ill or I'm in for it, dear. <laughs> all right, then. I'll take a chance. Go on, give me the money. Here we are, then. Five, ten, fifteen... 20, 21 pounds. All right, now, what about buying a cup of coffee with me? Help a struggling man make a living? Of course, Sidney. I could do with it anyway, out here all night. We'll have two cups of coffee and a steak pie each. Good. Anything else? Must be cold sitting in a shop doorway. What about some blankets, pillows? Very good idea. Two of each, please. Right, stand back. Here we are, then. Two blankets, two pillows. <laughs> Now, take a cellophane off and mind the glass. Here, they've got a bed in here as well, if you want it. Thank you, that'll be all. <laughs> Improvises, isn't he? How much do I owe you? Uh, let me see. Two coffees, steak pies, blankets, pillows, and a brick. £33.10. Run, Bill! Coffee, stop! Here it The prisoners will rise. You've been found guilty of stealing two blankets and a pillow from an Oxford Street star. No hats involved, thank goodness. <laughs> yes, I propose to make an example of you. There's too much of this sort of thing going on. Find 20 pounds. Good help. Can we go now? The ballet must get back on the queue. We'll miss tonight's show as well. Yes, yes. Pay the fine and go. Come on, Bill, quick. Catch it up in 30 minutes. We'll just make it. <laughs> Bill? It's gone. Where's the queue? Well, it could moved. It, it could be anywhere between here and Covent Garden. We must find it. We haven't got much time. Hey, ask that copper. He might know where it is. Yes, yes. Excuse me, Constable. I, I've been queuing up for the ballet for two days and I was forcibly ejected from it last night and now it's not here. I must find it. It's the last chance I'll get a see in it. Could you please tell me where I can find the queue? I can't hear a thing you're saying. Me helmet's too big. <laughs> Never mind, I'll ask somebody else. No, 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 don't okay. go away. Here. No. Don't go away. Everybody does that. I haven't had a chance to answer questions since I joined. <laughs> right up. I'll come back tomorrow. And I'll ask doesn't. No, no. <laughs> no, they all say that, and I never see them again. <laughs> Honestly, no one ever asks me anything. Even when I tell them the time, they go across the road and check with someone else. <laughs> you know, it's destroying my confidence. Well, come on. Don't be rotten. Ask me questions. All right, then. Very well. Now, concentrate. Mm. Where is the queue for the Bolshoi Ballet? Ooh, you going to the valley? Yes. Ooh, are you lucky? Ooh, I've got to stand here in the middle of Oxford Street getting knocked down all the time. <laughs> Do people knock you down? Well, only if they see me. <laughs> see, see all those people who asked me questions the day before. Where will you be standing tomorrow? Just here. <laughs> I'll go and buy a car. Oh, no. <laughs> no, come on. Stop messing about. Oh. Please. <clears throat> Where's the ballet queue? Where's the ballet queue? Where's the ballet queue? Now, there's not much time. It'll be starting any minute. All right, all right. Don't panic. Now, which end of the queue do you want? The end you get on. Well, that depends. That depends on which way it's facing, doesn't it? I'm going to ask somebody else. Oh, no, no, no. No, come here, say, uh, don't be mingy. Get those handcuffs off me. No, no, oh, no, no. no. There, I've thrown the key down the drain hole. Uh, you want the valley, don't you? Yes. I like valley, don't you? 
Yes. That's why I'm trying to get there. I'm a member of the police ballet company. I don't... The police ballet company? Mm. Do you mean to say they find slippers to fit them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're very good, too. I danced Romeo and Juliet with Fabian one year. <laughs> no? Yeah? I was Juliet. Get away. Mm. I'll tell you what. If your friend load the traffic up, I'll show you a few steps, shall I? <laughs> Don't bother. It's most kind. It's most kind. Just tell me where the queue is. I bet you don't even know where it is. I do too know where it is. <laughs> well, tell us then. No. <laughs> well, why not? Because you've been nasty to me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Mm. Now, where is it? Well, I'll tell you what. But you try and guess, and I'll tell you if you're right. <laughs> All right. No! Yes. <laughs> no! No! Uh, no. Shaftesbury Avenue! No! Well, you're getting warm. Kingsway! Go on, go on! Yes? Yes? Oh, this is ridiculous. No, no, no! <laughs> Here! Don't give up now, you nearly had it. <laughs> now you've left us all over again. Or would you rather play something else? How about car numbers? <laughs> No, no. I've got a better idea. Mm -hmm. Look, I think what? what? We'll play hide and seek. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Let me be it. You're it, all right. <laughs> now, right. Now, close your eyes and count up to ten. One, two, three. No looking. Four. Go on, Bill, run. It's near the Kingsway. <laughs> Are you sure that's it? Yes, that's the one. Thank you. What are you doing? <laughs> you forgot I'm handcuffed to you. <laughs> well, I found you. You're it now. Look, you're sure this is the right queue? Of course it is. There's no other show in London that's got big queues like this. Well, thank you very much. You've been most helpful and good fun. We're still handcuffed. I'll have to come in with you. Well, for our sake, I hope we get a seat together. <laughs> now, here we are. At last, the pay box. Three, please. Thank you. Come on, then. Quick, upstairs. Hey, say, Tubbets, it's packed. Of course, it's packed. Look at it, eh? The old place is throbbing here. Look at them all. <laughs> Got the old jewels on, the old Taralas. Everybody's out. <laughs> Bunch of good excitement, eh? Pulsing with excitement. Fifty quid this has cost me, but my word, it's worth every penny. What an occasion. Titled people from all over London. Here, look. Going up. Watch this carefully, Bill. At last, you're going to see what culture really is, boy. There we go. <laughs> I don't care if the birds in the tree, if the flowers don't bloom. Tom, are you sure this is the Moscow Ballet? Oh, this is the Moscow Ballet. Look at you and Elva down there. Oh, talent. Singing. Playing the piano as well. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> You've been listening to Hancock's Half Hour, starring Tony Hancock, with Sidney James, Bill Kerr, and Kenneth Williams. Theme and incidental music composed and conducted by Wally Stott, show written by Alan Simpson and Ray Galton. The program which was recorded was produced by Dennis Main Wilson. Hope you enjoyed our latest episode of Hancock's Half Hour. Who wouldn't enjoy a bit of Hancock on a Monday? Uh, don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow with an adventure with Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. That's going to be going live at 5pm GMT. You can email me on brett at touradate.co.uk and I'd love to know your thoughts on the show. As I've mentioned several times, it's patreon.com forward slash brett's old time radio show if you'd like to support us. 
Thanks for listening. I'll be with you seven days a week, each and every week. And I'll see you tomorrow on Brett's Old Time Radio Show. Love you. Bye. Thank you.